there are three different ways with which we can represent motion of a body graphically and they are number one displacement time graph displacement time graph another graphical method is velocity time graph And another method is acceleration time graph. Acceleration time graph. These are three methods with which the motion of a body, linear motion, motion in a straight line is called linear motion, motion of the body can be represented. Today we are talking about the displacement time graph. If a body is at rest, then how it is represented graphically? If a body has uniform velocity, how its uh, motion is represented graphically and another case variable velocity i'll focus on these three when body is at rest when uniform velocity when variable velocity now first you have to understand what is displacement time graph displacement time graph means this is a graph in which Actually, time is taken in x-axis and displacement is taken in y-axis. This is displacement time graph. If a body is at rest, then let's say this is a point of reference and if a body is at rest at the distance of 10 meter, then after one second, it will remain in the same position. Another second also, it will remain in the same position. Another second also, same position. Time keeps on increasing and increasing, but the, uh, the distance, be, distance is not changed. I mean to say, displacement remains same. This is the line which represents the uh, motion of the body. Actually, the, it is at rest. Rest. And that's why, what can we see? The graphical representation of uh, a body at rest by displacement time graph is a straight line which is parallel to the x-axis or we can say which is parallel to the time axis. This is the graphical representation of a body at rest. Now, let's talk about uniform velocity. If a body is in uniform velocity, how can we represent its motion by displacement time graph time is taken in x-axis displacement is taken in y-axis now what kind of motion it is uniform velocity now what it means uniform velocity means if a body covers equal distances in equal interval of time then the body is said to be moving with uniform velocity Let's say in first second it covers 5 meter distance, second second also 5 meter, third second also 5 meter, fourth second also 5 meter, fifth second also 5 meter. This way if a body moves, then this type of motion is what? Uniform velocity. That's why in first second let's say 5, five meter distance is covered. This point represents that uh, the position at the end of one second and this is uh, the end of second second, end of third second, end of this fourth second this way actually if we draw the graph then what comes actually it comes a straight line and this straight line is torn to us or tilted to us time axis that's why uh, if you are asked to write about this if a body is moving with uniform velocity and a graphical representation is displacement time graph then we can say displacement time graph of a body moving with uniform velocity is a straight line and uh, it is tilted towards what time axis okay now next variable velocity if a body has variable velocity the same time is taken in x-axis and displacement is taken in y-axis and variable velocity means what in equal if a body covers different dis distances 
different distances in equal interval of time in first uh, second maybe 2 meter and second second maybe 3 meter 2 plus 3 because uh, 2 plus uh, 3 becomes 5 in the third second 1 meter in this way if a body moves then uh, the point comes in uh, curve line the line keeps on increasing but it comes in co uh, a curve line that's why what can we say the displacement time graph of a body moving with variable velocity is a curve line this way a rest uniform velocity and variable velocity of a body can be represented by a displacement time graph okay this much for today